good morning student so this is the fourth part of this poem keeping quiet fourth stanza which i am going to explain today so let's get started if we were not so single minded about keeping our lives moving and for once could perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this sadness or never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death so here what he is trying to say all human beings work endlessly with the aim of completing all their task they are driven by the target of survival and the threat of death so they are in a mad rush to accomplish all their works he says that perhaps if they pause for a while they can appreciate their achievements and their lives would become happier he suggests that by keeping quiet we will be able to understand the true purpose of the life here if i want to explain you in deeply now the poet wants to clarify to his readers that when he asks them to stop from saying or doing anything he doesn't want anyone to become a non active person non active person is a person who remains idle and does not do anything here he simply means that we should stop and see the consequences of our deeds the poet does not want to see people being killed due to their greed for money and expense of territories further he says that people are continuously working to achieve their task without even thinking about their result they are in fear of death and therefore want to achieve most of the things before their death here he urge to them to stop a while and take some moment to realize on what they have achieved till now everyone here everyone here is living a life in which he wants to achieve various things one after another but now the poet says it is the time to stop and see what has been achieved and should be enjoyed this will help us keeping the sadness which has become a prominent in our lives the sadness is not enjoying what we have achieved and the greed to achieve what next is in the list to be achieved so that was the fourth stanza now last stanza perhaps the earth can teach us as when everything seems dead and later proves to be alive now i will count up to 12 and you keep quiet and i will go so here the poet suggests us to take a teaching from nature as the earth undergoes change in winter everything freezes becomes lifeless but after some time the season changes again and everything comes back to life similarly taking a pause and introspecting into our lives will give it a new meaning we will be able to understand the purpose of our life it will be like like a rebirth of the soul the poet has conveyed to all the people the purpose of his message and so he asked them once again to take a pause count till 12 and walk out of the scene keeping the scene open for all the people on the earth to experience this for time to come so this was the explanation of this chapter i hope you understood this chapter very well so thank you so much